What, she's offing and puffing? You're all excited? Is that what we're trying to say? Right, ready when you are. Which way are we going? Welcome to Sunday, 14th of April. Holly's and birthday. Pardon? Holly's birthday. Holly's yeah, Holly's birthday. Happy birthday, Holly. Oh, you could have waited. Yeah, no, she couldn't wait. It was too urgent. They've gone. There might be a squirrel. You gone squirrel or has she gone go oh, She don't care. So anything small, brown and furry will get chewed if they can catch it. Well, we've got a bit of grass out here. But I don't know what it is about this grass here. They don't seem to like this bit up here so much. Whether it was overseeded with something else and it's got some flavour to it or there's something run off on it. But you can see the boundary in the grass between the made up grain and the old original, can't you? Yeah. You know, I just wish the whole farm was covered in this much density of grass. Just patchy in places. Crumb ball. No rolling in it. Crumb ball. That's the sad demise of a wood pigeon. <laughs> Pepper, she's heard something in there. Hmm. Yep. Nice to see the bluebells. Aren't they lovely? I almost don't want to let the cattle out so they don't destroy them. Is it a rabbit? Hey, what's in there? What's in there? What's in there? Is it a rabbit? What's in there? Rabbit. He's not going to come out to you now, especially when we sit here. Yeah, they are creeping back. That was a big mistake letting the cattle in there. When we first took the farm on, we had the, that old fence right over the back there. We let the cattle get in the stream and drink from the stream. This was called, well it's still called Bluebell Wood, but the cattle got in here and trounced it and basically destroyed the Bluebell and it was like, I really, really regretted it. But, so we fenced this off, what was that, about six, seven years ago? Six, seven years ago we fenced it off so the cattle can no longer get in there at all and the Bluebells are coming back, so. Yeah, so that, this is another little bit of corner of the farm where we've kind of returned this to nature. We've got little corners of this, like all the place. So it's only, what's it going to be? Uh, 90 feet by 40 feet wide, but boundaries onto the stream down there. So the, the highway for all types of beasties and birdies and whatever else up through there. So, and of course your mother's dog's in here as well, isn't she? She, no, she's down in there somewhere, isn't she? So we buried, we buried uh, Audra's dog down here years ago, didn't she? When, well, obviously, when she died, we didn't bury her alive. So. And our pollard ash. So we pollarded this again, was it last year? Because the whole thing is kind of getting ready to fall apart. Whether he's going to survive, ash die back? I hope so. Yeah, well... <laughs> Mr. Fox used to live in there. We used to be able to walk down here and he'd be sat out there with his face in that little crotch in there looking at us. So yeah, Fox used to go up there um, and he, he lived up there and he was quite happy. So, but this makes me happy. All the bluebells. I really, 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 really love bluebells. spring and just so you know I'm not biased I'm pretty fond of primroses too so they've kind of finished now but yeah all this hedge line bluebells mainly this side here because neighbor sheep get in there and they will destroy them but uh, yeah we didn't trim this hedge this year so this is one of the hedges we left <coughs> 
So quite often we leave a hedge or two a year untrimmed for the birdies. And this is one of them this year. So as you can see, no hedge trimming. I'm not a complete vandal. A bit of a vandal. Is it really, is it really too much to ask? Is it? <laughs> is it too much to ask? Just a little bit, a little bit of stone picking. Thank you. Another one there. Right, do you want to do this at the path? I'll do the side. Actually, you do that side because you've got some fur to throw in then. Yeah? This is the result of stone yards and mucking out and muck spreading. So, yeah, some stones get in the field. So, that one went right over the hedge into the field next door. So. Oh, well, I'll go. Do you want a pair of gloves? I've got a pair of gloves on me if you want them. Yes, no? No? All right. They just realised we went without them. Did you realise we went without you? You don't usually go that way, do we? <laughs> Mad dog. Bit of just fresh air, isn't it? Well, it's just you can understand why lambs and everything else do well. Yeah. Hello. Got a twig. Got a twig. Got a twig. Yeah. I have to move the twig. That's just two twigs. There's a little ditty twig here. Which is actually a piece of rose. <laughs> oh yeah. There's a badger bog down here. <laughs> and certain certain elements of the four wheel four legged society here. I think it's perfume. Oh, that's where he goes through. Hey. Hmm. So, yes, Mr. Badger's stinky log latrine. Dirty stinker. Right. Okay. I'm gonna give Mary a, some hay from that out of there. I'll be up. Do you want to put the kettle on? I'll have a cup of tea for a go, Dad's? Yeah, okay. Right, that's you fed. And she's hiding her baby. We've got a really poorly calf up here. So, there's one. He's still quite weak. But this little chap here. You're not right at all, are you? So is it Coxie you've got? The vet said no. Hmm. You've got enough in there to last you to this afternoon. Right, let's give this calf a jab. My dad's and the weather's nice we're gonna go and have a look at the barn and see what's left in there because it might be empty or there might be 22 ton left in there we're not sure what they've taken and we're gonna go and look at my grass and his wheat go a bit close there dad
looking a bit greener out there now. Yeah, it looks good. It looks like yellow now, does it? No, it's getting yellow at all. That's altered a lot, isn't it? Yeah. So if we get that bloody thing out of the corner. He's a bit, he's a bit over, isn't he? Do you want to yeah. go on down here? Yeah, go on down the track. That's looking a lot better, isn't it? Yeah. I'll turn it out now. I'll go now. Actually, it does look like it's tilted out quite nicely. You can see where Red just got up the edge of the fertilizer and just missed the last yeah. two feet here, can you? Pull it up or move it? Oh, move it. Bring it over, bring it back over here. Can you go around the boundary? What do you mean? Round Edland. What, the drive, you mean? Yeah. Well, I can if you want to. Yeah. You want to drive around the boundary? Okay. We shall get any closer. Well, yeah, we will. <laughs> you, I just didn't want to drive on it, but if you want to, that's fine with me. Why, well, you want to hurt it, will you? No. Oh, uh, someone's gone, oh, are you going to go without me? No, the exercise do you good. But it's a bit of a bump off of here, mate. Eh? It's a bit of a bump off of here. Yeah. He's been round here anyway. Hey? He's been round here anyway. It's right round here, look. Yeah. You got one foot, that's it. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Except there's plenty of bits of this wet. Grass out there doesn't look too bad either, that's coming off. Yeah. A few pictures missing. Yeah, I'm hopefully we might, we might find them on the way around. Maybe. You what? Might pick them up on the way around if we're lucky. We're going right round, are we? Eh? We're going right back, are we? They're going right round, aren't they? Yeah, they might. <laughs> Biscuit, come on, stop digging bloody holes. That's you, come on. Look like red. They can, they can run. Uh, red right there, right, right, right. Even a bit, it was it. The track back here. Yeah. Well, it's probably too wet to go for it, wasn't it, for him? Yeah. It's right here, man. Well, I'm not going to go in the same... Are you, you going there? I don't know. I'm not going to go in the same track, that's what I mean. Hey? Eh? I'm not going to go in the same track. That looks pretty wet. That's all the water there, isn't it? Yeah, 
really thin down in the corner. Also, yeah. that's the freezer right there. Eh? Hey? Also, that didn't work here, mate. Still didn't catch that, sorry. It's also ash trees don't look very clever. No, but we're only having the middle one out for now. We might make the other one a bit smaller. Yeah, that'll be alright. Oh, yeah, come. I don't know. It's not. Eh? It's not brilliant, but it's, it's a lot better than. Well, it's not a corner here, isn't it? A lot of places. Well, he oversees it, didn't he? He, put, he, put, he upped the rate, didn't he? Because. Uh, it was late. Yeah, he charged me for it too. Well, <laughs> well he's not going to give it to you for free. Well, he couldn't plant it himself, so he put it in here and charged me for it. Yeah. Well, or we, we just about to chuck a bit more protein at it, that's all. <laughs> a bit more nitrogen. So if it comes right, it might pay back a dividend, so we'll, well see. Might do. I mean, the ground will support it. Oh, yeah. As long as, as, long as the weather's right, the ground will support it. <coughs> yeah. oh. Just got to decide what we're going to put in next year. That's the next thing, isn't it? Yeah, let's put back in wheat again. What, a third wheat? Well, you want to well, barley or something, I don't know. Yeah, you want to break crop really, don't you? But, but what? And who's, who's available to put it in and harvest it? Yeah. Walk, do you good. <laughs> Let you sleep better. Yeah. Right. I'm over a big bit of dead wood here. I'm going to pick that up before I go for it. Find it with a mower. A big stick in here, isn't it? Yeah, he was here somewhere. I've seen it while we ran over it, so. Must be under that, I'm then. Here he is. Well, I reckon this is, yeah. Well, it's facing the right way too, isn't it? So. Yeah. It looks all right. That'll be fine. That'll all come right, won't it? Yeah. We're, we're lucky. Yeah. Look, Andy was there. We've been lucky around here since. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, there are some wheat and. Partly in the ground, it's coming up. So oh, yeah. It just seems that we've got away with it reasonably well this year, so again. Well. Alright, so we'll see what's in here, if anything. Oh yeah, still a bit in here. Still some in here. Save the getting out. Try each other there now, mate. I reckon. Yeah, it's a load there, isn't it? Yeah. Be interesting to see what he gets on there, but. Yeah, you gotta go. Yeah, well, you can't keep that bit, so. Yeah. There you go. 
Oh, well, if you know we've got another, another jet to draw yet, then. Yeah. Right. I'll close it up again. Morning, Mr. Cornock. No, we haven't forgotten. I will call in and see you on the way back. That's not a problem. I just wondered if you'd forgotten. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm still, still on. They were down in the barn looking at uh, what's left in the barn for the uh, wheat and that. So. Uh, okay. How long have you been, do you think? Uh, about three quarters an hour. All right, that's fine. All right, I'll see you then. All right, cheers, mate. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. <sighs> what's up with him? I got to go take a photograph. Take his photograph. We're uh, we're going to the Royal Highland Show. That's right. So, um, they want a picture of Richard, Harry and me to, for them to put on their social media for their thing so they can say to folks, you can come and meet the Funky Farmer and that, uh, oh. to our stand at blah, blah, blah. So it's all, it's all bloody advertising. So. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Right. Well, that was a pleasant and reassuring hour spent with me dad, wandering around the farm. Grass is coming on nicely down there. Grass, everything grows so much better here than it does at my place. But uh, uh, what was I going to say? The um, the wheat is looking good. All right, there's still a few patches where the rain took it, and there's a few bald spots. But in general, I think if the weather picks up now and stays warm, we're still going to get a harvest. So I really hope so because there's a milling wheat in there. We're going to need to feed that, um, and we don't want too much rain washing all the feed away. Right, off to see Mr. Cornock. Do a photograph. And um, then home for lunch. <laughs>